Alright, so this is next card game developed by Bugbear Entertainment. I really like it. It is early access. Uh, right now, there's only four cars in the game, but they're working on it. They just redid the entire engine, and it's so much fun. Each car, you get, uh, there's a few different paint options you can try. Uh, you can't create your own. I don't know if that's something that they're going to look into. But you have a few options as far as that goes. And if you get this game now, on, um, I'll link to their website in the description where you can buy it. But you can also get it on Steam. And on either case, whenever you buy it, you get an extra game mode. It's like the technology sneak peek is what they call it. And uh, we're going to go into that also at the end of the video. Now you see here there's different en options, engine options, brake options, and there's money. The money system isn't implemented yet, but I guess that's coming. Now, as far as the menu goes, you do all your graphics and stuff before the game. And in here, it's just audio options, controller options. And the audio, keep in mind, too, it resets. Every time you close the game, the audio resets to these settings. And so you have to go back and change it again. Which, I'm sure that's something that will be fixed. It's not too big of a deal, but it is something that you have to do every time. <laughs> Alright, so online right now, they've implemented it's LAN only, but hopefully the actual online multiplayer will be making its way here sometime in the future. There's a few different stages you have, regular demolition plus racing, and even the racing itself is still demolition. This game is so much fun to play. Uh, you can have up to 23 opponents, which is a pretty good mix and you can have up to 10 laps on any circuit, no more than that. And the weather you can change to random or presets. Plus your transmission you can choose between manual, automatic, and then you have some driver aids that you can change as well. Now, the game gives you a good mix of viewing options. So there's like a chase cam, a little bit closer chase cam. There's a cockpit view, a hood view, and a bumper view. So you can pick whichever one of those you want. The cockpit view is what I normally prefer in racing games, and this it works out for the most part until your car gets just really banged up because the A pillars and stuff will completely block your vision. So normally in this game I will do the chase cam and it works pretty well. The graphics, I have to say, look pretty good. I was really impressed with how this game looks. The physics are pretty great and the AI is brutal they will chase you down they will chase each other down and they are out for blood it's really fun to play it's really addictive and well, at least when i'm playing i'm not even worried about coming in first place i mean i like to do as well as i can but man <laughs> just so much destruction and pieces flying everywhere there's sparks parts of your car just fly off your car can get mangled into ways that in real life it would never be able to run but in this game, luckily it does, and you can have the most goofy ass looking car at the end, still chugging around, doing your thing, and I have to say, this is one of the most fun games that I've played recently, and I just, I don't know, I recommend it so much. Uh, I don't know any of the developers or anything, this is just my own view of this game, I love it, I like racing games anyway, and I haven't played a good demolition game since this one, I don't even remember the name, it was on the PlayStation 1 that I used to play. And this reminds me of that, kind of, but this is still way better. And I touched on the physics earlier. This is a pure arcade. There's really no, I don't think, simulation. It's not even really Simcade. It's a pure arcade title, and it really fits the theme of the whole destruction thing. You can really just belt these cars around. They feel solid. It's not, they're not floaty. The sense of speed is pretty good when you get going. I think that's amplified by just the bits of cars and track flying around but yeah it's super arcade style but it's not a bad thing it definitely fits this game and i love the way that it feels and yeah at the end of the race it shows the results and then it gives out a little bit of money which again isn't something that's really implemented yet but i'm sure that'll be coming very soon there's also a photo mode in which you can pause the game and go into photo mode at any time and then you have options to choose which car to follow if you want, different camera angles, or uh, just a free roam. So you can put the camera wherever you want. And then it gives you a few different options as far as setting up the camera is concerned. It's kind of basic, 
but it's still a nice feature they didn't have to include, and you can have a lot of fun with it, capture those crazy moments in a photo if you want, and I really like it. And then the replay mode is something I love. It takes the same basic thing from the photo mode. You can put the camera wherever you want. I like to put the camera way up in the sky, look down on the action, but you have quite a few options with the replay, and they did it right. A lot of games, you just choose fixed camera points, and then you're stuck with those. But this, you can still put the camera wherever you want to and watch the action from where you want to watch it from. And the replay mode in this game is one of the best. If you buy the game now, like I said, you get what's called the Technology Sneak Peek, which is an extra game mode. It's just a big sandbox with all kinds of stuff you can do. And you can also choose how many AI cars anywhere, zero, so it's just you, up to 23. And during this game mode, no matter how many AI cars you have, you can disable them at any time in the menu, so they'll just stop. Or you can have them going, and it's still, like, Demolition Derby Madness. They'll be trying to take each other out, take you out, and it's really fun. Even if you want to do your own thing, you'll just see cars go flying by you and stuff. There's also a mode where you can shoot things at them. Uh, in multiplayer with the AI, it shoots crates, but if you're by yourself, it shoots these, like, giant cannonball things, and it's a lot of fun to play with. You can also reset your car whenever you want and on top of that if you're going and you just have damage and driving you don't have to reset the whole car you can just reset your damage and then you can keep on going and just running into stuff having a blast there's jumps ramps concrete pillars there's like storage containers crates tires spinny things grinders that grind your car up into a pulp and you can spend a lot of time just even with no ai just you on the track and just driving around and doing crazy stunts. And it's really fun. Uh, I've spent quite a while in here. And again, it reminds me, I said in a different video, it reminded me of the Beam NG tech demo. I don't know if you've played it. If you have, that's a free demo that's also fun. And it's all like this. There's just like a big sandbox mode. They have maps too, but like the free demo is just a sandbox mode. It looks a lot like this, and it's a blast. You can really have a lot of fun just tearing your car up. And it sounds weird, but it. It's good fun, and it comes with the game if you get it now through their website or on Steam. And that's about going to wrap up this video. So yeah, my my review so far is this game is the best. <laughs> Maybe not the best, but it's really damn good. I highly recommend it, and I would say go pick it up. You're missing out, especially if you just like car games or whatever. This is one to get, even early access, and that's something that I don't say often because I'm not a huge fan of early access games but this is one to get if you're looking to get one. So I hope this review kind of helped. If you liked it please leave a like or subscribe and take it easy guys.